it all becomes flammable. And no again, ground left uncovered is the name of the game for the Medford Police wood. Department. Officer Richard Renfro going about his daily duties, but scouring the west side, trying to prevent what looks to be a possible target area. It's not primed, it's not painted, it's not sealed, it's just, this is great kindling. You put a match to that and this whole fence is going to go up like crazy. Officers focusing specifically on alleyways near downtown Medford and nearby the neighborhoods. The department is putting more resources on the streets, hoping to saturate the area with patrols. And Renfro a says a tip for the neighbors, keep right your properties neat and clean, um, and hopefully your backyard won't be a next target. If uh, the arsonist is walking through this area and he's looking for something he wants to burn, you know that's something he's going to pass up and he's going to move down until he finds something else. Officers also checking for dangerous hazards like this, a trailer with flammable materials inside. He says these days police are questioning everything. If somebody looks out of place or something like that, they're, they're wearing gloves. Why are you wearing gloves when it's, you know, 80, 90 degrees out? Uh, why are you wearing, you know, a beanie or, or look like you're in some type of a disguise? He says while the increase in officers on the streets is critical, the biggest helping hand in this case is the people in the community. 99% of good police work is solved by talking to people. Hoping someone catches a glimpse of the person behind these attacks.